Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today I'm going to talk about the free stocks that I bought this week. Now first of all, I'm going to apologise because I actually only just realised it's about 12am as I'm recording this video. Uh, but yeah, I kind of made a bit of a mistake and realised that I actually didn't have a video for, well, today. Um, so if this video has made it up at one o'clock at the usual time, then that's pretty impressive. Uh, I managed to turn it around in 11, 11 hours and normally it takes about um, eight hours to do the full process of the video and obviously a little bit of sleep in there. So if I have made it at one o'clock, uh, that's absolutely amazing. If I didn't make it, now it, look, it looks a bit of an idiot, but hey, um, hopefully it has made the one o'clock. So sorry if this one's a little bit rushed, there isn't as much detail, it's not as long, but if I didn't do this video, I think it's like a hundred consecutive days of videos and I thought like I've got to keep the streak up. So um, hopefully uh, it did make it up on time and everything's gone smoothly, but yeah, Enough of that, uh, we'll take a look at the free stocks I bought this week. Uh, and as always, if you do want to know what stocks I'm buying, when I'm buying them, make sure you join the patrons group. Um, one of the reasons why I forgot there was a video is I actually was doing a portfolio review for one of the patron members, uh, which was about 20 minutes long. So um, yeah, I just must have got caught away with that one. Uh, and yeah, I kind of forgot about it. But a lot of these companies I did buy on Monday. I gave a little bit of a hint in the free UK stocks I'm buying video of the companies that I was looking to buy. Uh, and I bought a lot of these on Monday and I thought I'll let you guys know um, which ones they were now. Um, so like I say, if you do want a bit of early access as well as that exclusive content, make sure you join the patrons link. Uh, that's the, I think it's the first link in the description, but we'll take a look. Now, just before uh, I get stuck into it, smash the like button and if you are new, make sure you subscribe. But um, yeah, I was I said on Monday's video that I was considering Money Supermarket. Still not go got over the edge of buying that one really because I did kind of like start weighing up like my risk to reward and I'll be honest, I only saw about a 50% upside on it and like I say, normally when I get into a company, I like to see probably 100% gain. So it just isn't there right now, but a little bit further drop, then I might be just interested and go buy it. So I'll give you a clue. It wasn't that one that was uh, on that list, uh, but we'll take a look at number one. So number one was a Chinese company that I've owned and talked about a lot on the channel, which is called Huya. Now this company has been going down a little bit over the last few weeks. I think it's mostly due to some of the problems with China and the US and the list, the delisting of um, a lot of the Chinese companies on the US stock market. Now I actually don't think it'll be that bad, but I think a few people are getting a little bit scared out of this when realistically this isn't going to come into effect. I think it's for like two or three years. So it gives a lot of um, chance for the, these Chinese companies to get to the uh, US accounting standards, which is plenty of time. And even if at that point they're not happy with it and they do decide to remove themselves from the US uh, stock market, then a lot of these will start getting Hong Kong listings. So the companies that start getting a lot of Hong Kong listings over the next kind of 12 months will probably be the ones that we are looking at probably will move across um, to the Hong Kong exchange rather than staying on the US exchange. So that's probably the one early sign that I would say that um, is the key factor of companies moving across. Um, so yeah, I think Alibaba might have got one now. I know JD.com have one. Um, so yeah, that's probably a key sign that they are thinking about moving across. But like I say, um, a lot of these Chinese companies are legit. A lot of them have uh, American auditors in as well. So I don't think there'll be a major problem, but it's just that kind of uncertainty and uh, investors don't like that. And you've just seen in the short term, some people taking some profit and some good chances in Chinese stocks like Alibaba for example but who yeah was the one for me that I was looking at and I was like this is a pretty good opportunity because I was my stock price on my average was getting down and uh, down and down and the, the price on the stock which kept you know dipping and I thought right buy a bit more get that average down and I think with you yeah there's going to be a lot of there's not really going to be much positivity until we get the merger with Douyu and then when Douyu merger happens and who yeah come together you've got you know them controlling 80% of the market big uh, 10 cent control in there. You think about eSports will carry on growing huge, growing industry. You think about the console cycle, that will give you game titles. Uh, so you're gonna have probably more and more streaming there as well. But as well as that, you know, just having massive, massive games and that eSports growth is enough on its own. You've seen that from previous years really. Um, and that will carry on helping uh, Hugh Yeah with the profit growth, very cheap valuation, amazing balance sheet, put that with Douyu. Uh, this company for me is gonna be a $40 stock in two years time. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy to get in here, probably even a little bit more than that in uh, you know, like even a longer term haul, but I think two, year, two years, maybe $40, 
and then probably say five years towards sixty dollars. Um, so yeah, I think you get these sort of valuations is just really cheap, and I've not talked about it on the channel really, and I've had a few people going, "Are you buying more here?" Yeah, and I've just kind of like been waiting and waiting, and then I thought, right, I'll go uh, increase my position now, and yeah, I increased my position by um, I think it was thirty percent, so it was a bit of a big increase really, and. Um, thought I'd uh, make that one clear because I know a few people were asking about that one um, and a few other companies so yeah bought a little bit more here yeah. Uh, number two was a company that was featured on the free UK stocks to buy which was Rightmove and this is a company that I already own but I was looking at this and I was thinking it's a very small position and it's a great company it's a little bit of a drop at the moment but I was still up 15% on my position and I don't like uh, averaging up but I was like realistically is this gonna you know drop um, you know the share price if you look at it historically it's gone up absolutely huge I have to say that a few people have asked me you know what is the dip in 2018 and that is if you're looking at a chart and it's not updated correctly there was a stock split in 2018 uh, and sometimes when you look at some charts uh, that dip is because they haven't updated the chart correctly and sometimes I'd get the, that question on the channel but I, I thought I'd just speak about that but yeah right move obviously a great company you think about the housing sector probably will start coming back strong even though it's already been performing pretty well to be fair uh, probably um, a li little bit overlooked but you look at right move and now you know every sort of house that's coming on the stock market pretty much has to get advertised on right move you know a lot of people that are selling these houses go oh yeah we do advertise on right move it's one of those things you know you look at an estate agent and they've got to do it and because of that competition to get higher up on that listing uh, people paying right move even more money and they just got you know total control i think they currently own 83 percent of the market share so they're by far the number one leader in this uh, area so uh, that's absolutely fantastic as well and uh, you know you look at the growth it's got historically amazing growth the balance sheet's absolutely solid and um, so yeah i mean it's a, a really good company at the moment and uh, especially on the uk front when i'm trying to few, find a few deals to buy something it was the one that kind of stood out still at a decent valuation so uh added a little bit more into the right move position and number three is the massive growth company that I talked about on Monday's video on free UK stocks to buy and this was S4 Capital so I did start a position and uh, just jumping back onto right move I actually did increase my right move position by 50% but jumping back onto S3 Capital and um, yeah I bought, so, bought some shares into this one I've, I bought a little bit heavy um, I just thought you know I'll, I'll buy some I don't think it'll pull back if it does amazing you know if it pulls back 10% then I can double my position uh, we'll see what happens there but I thought I'll just get a decent chunk here because I don't know how much it pulls up you know this company's going up and up and up and even though it's probably a little bit um, a, a, a richer valuation when I was actually running the number throughs for like the, the revenue growth and the revenue it'll be putting in and the profit this valuation is actually pretty fair really and you know you look at the company at the moment it's growing revenue at like a fifth, I think a 50 percent rate the, the profit's going to be growing at a huge rate the balance sheet's pretty decent as well and uh, they've got some amazing partners in here and i thought you know this this is a, a major growth company w in the uk stock market that is a decent sized company you know let's not forget this is a two billion company and uh, two billion companies actually in the uk is classed as a pretty decent size and this 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 company s4 capital could be a you know a future uh, FTSE 100 member in my opinion and uh, yeah I mean it's got massive growth on it if it carries on the valuation it's doing you know we don't get many billion dollar companies in the UK that has 50% revenue growth normally these sort of companies in the UK are like growing revenues at 1% so I think it's uh, managed really well amazing growth it'll carry on growing uh, you know people that start putting the spending back in you know when a lot of this COVID recovery start, starts you know happening in 2021 so yeah, I mean, I thought I'd finally get into this growth company, another great growth company for the portfolio because I've got a few uh, value plays in there, not many growth companies, like the only standout growth company realistically in my portfolio for the UK side is Rightmove and Boohoo. So when I think about that, I've got, I think like 14 UK companies and I only have two growth companies, I thought let's get a third one in there. So it's a good suit for my portfolio as well. So yeah, I did add some shares into that one as well. And those were the three UK companies that I did, uh, well, three two uk companies and uh, one U us company even though it's kind of a chinese company that i did buy this week anyway so uh hope you enjoyed it smash the like button if you are new subscribe and like i say if you want to keep up to date when i'm actually buying and selling companies make sure you join the patrons group link is in the description and i'll see you in the next video